Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Organics have been found on Mars by the Curiosity rover. However, researchers are not quite sure where this matter came from. While they could have been from the remnants of past organisms, they could also have been from the fallen asteroids or geological reactions. The methane that was found here could also come from biological sources, as most of it does from Earth, but again, it could come from abiotic processes, as theorised by some. Either way, this is an incredible step in the search for life on Mars, and we seem to be getting ever closer to finding remnants of it. In other news, experiments have been done on particles of dust found in the higher parts of Earth's atmosphere, and confirmed them to be from the beginning of the solar system. It is believed that most of this kind of dust was destroyed and then remade into what eventually became the planets of the solar system. And a new review has found that one in five British mammals, such as the increasingly rare red squirrel, is at a very high risk of extinction. Many factors seem to be influencing this, such as road deaths, the use of pesticides and climate change. After this, many are calling for more vigorous research to be carried out to try to find the more exact populations of these endangered animals, so more can be done to help them recover. In paleontological news this week, the oldest footprints on Earth have been discovered. The tracks are from China and date from between 551 to 541 million years old, meaning they came from the late Ediacaran period, even earlier than the Cambrian. It can't be said for certain what organism the trace fossils belong to, only that they were some kind of bilaterian. It's possible that the owner of the footprints could have been an ancient arthropod, or maybe an annelid. The fossils also demonstrate that it was around this time that bilaterian animals started to become a bigger presence in the world. The fossilised skeleton of an Eosauropterygian marine reptile, a relative of Plesiosaurus, was recently x-rayed, revealing possibly the oldest known case of tuberculosis, or something similar in the animal. The individual had injured ribs that were the result of a multi-seasonal disease, and they showed indications that this was due to pneumonia. However, it also had protrusions called blebs on several ribs, and these structures are only otherwise known in humans suffering from TB. And a prehistoric mammal from Brazil has been named after David Bowie's character Ziggy Stardust. Brazilites stardusti is also the first Mesozoic mammal from Brazil to be described, being based on a fossilised premolar tooth. The mammal tooth provides evidence that placentiles may have existed in South America between 88 and 70 million years ago. An important review of what we currently know about pterosaur diets was published this week, examining 126 papers and looking at what conclusions they made about the feeding habits of these animals. The paper found that most ideas about diet are decided based on comparisons with modern animals or the pterosaur's environments, which are not particularly reliable. Some pterosaur groups' diets are well known, for example pterodontids, but others such as asdarkids are not totally agreed on, so the paper as a whole will be a useful tool for future research into pterosaur diets. Two new predatory proto-mammals were named this week, both from Russia. One was a large Therophosalian, and another a smaller Gorgonopsian. These finds are significant, since they don't come from South Africa where the majority of early proto-mammal fossils have come from previously, allowing a better understanding of these animals' evolution in other areas, as well as the ecosystem as it recovered from the mid-Permian extinction. Thank you very much for watching this week's recap on 7 Days of Science. Have an enjoyable week and we'll see you on Sunday.